Good news, AI has finally found a breakout use case. Bad news, it's scams. Here's how generative AI is giving new life to old tricks. Now it's been possible for years to fake someone's voice or socially engineer a message, but it took enough time and effort that scammers reserved that for high value targets. Now it's cheap and easy enough that they can personalize the scams for thousands, which means you and your grandma are on the list. One example is cloning a friend or family member's voice so it can be used to leave a message or even have a conversation asking for money. With today's open voice cloning tools, all you need is a few seconds to make a decent copy. A text or an email saying, hey, my car broke down, can you send me 200 bucks? Easy to ignore. Your sister's voice saying the same thing? Not so easy. Spam will get more sophisticated too, as language models and leaked info are used to personalize every message. They could even impersonate you with customer service in order to get access to your account. But perhaps the scariest possibility is deepfake blackmail. Imagine someone threatening to release a compromising photo of you that came from a porn generator. You know it's fake, but do others? Of course, this kind of blackmail has existed for decades, but it used to be a complex manual task. Now they could churn out 100 an hour. So what can you do to protect yourself? Same as before. Use multi-factor authentication and be very suspicious of anything coming from an unknown sender. And as for deepfakes, you can take it to the cops, but what these scammers want the most is engagement from you. For now at least, the best thing to do may be to block, report, and move on.